Hello and welcome to Hating TV. Right, we're starting to take off. Uh, big boss man's up there checking everything's all right. Ads has just started to rake up, so he's just about to go. Charlie and I are going to carry on baiting for a bit. And we're going to start picking up this afternoon because there's just not going to be that many barrels. So even though with the weather like it is, you know, it's dry for a bit, um, we, we just can't get over how much forage and stuff everyone is going through. Because it, to me, like, let us, let, let us know wherever you are in the uh, world, country, like, what is people's paddocks and stuff looking like to you? Because all or predominantly loads of our stuff goes to people with horses or small holders. But what's everyone's paddocks doing? What's everyone doing with them? Because it's lovely and humid at the moment. It's warm. It's, you know, we're having loads of moisture. Um, is, anyone, is, is no one got any grass? Or has everyone bought more animals? Like, what is, what does everyone else think is going on, basically? And anyway, I'm gonna go up and have a look and see how bathing's going on outside. So whether Charlie and I start bringing bells in now, we wait a while, because I can't see them being that many bells. So this is uh, probably the poorest performing field out of the lot. It's a bit better on this end, but the first part of the field is a bit of a joke. HRS, next field up. Let's have a little cruise about up here with Teddy Adler. That is probably enjoying the view. The view is, voila, on a day like this, on a day like this, that is just perfect. But, you see, this row up here, this isn't bad. The top half of the field, the bottom half of the field is crap, but the top half of the field is right. The field above the HRS is uh, rolling now, that field is pretty poor. And then the rest pick up, so the rest are alright. Um, so whether that one gets ripped up or not, um, we receive it, who knows? Well that will be, uh, we'll have to wait and see. But otherwise, everything is looking not bad. We'll take it. I'm only just gutted, I didn't cut more bloody grass. So, is today going to plan? Not quite. So I have just caught this hydraulic pipe here. We're on this attachment. So, basically I've cracked, that's a that's a joining, uh, a joining part. So I basically cracked the bit inside, so it's now leaking. Which means I've got to drive to Exeter to get in the part, to bring back, to put on, to go wrapping. It's not the way this day was supposed to go. So, if you haven't yet done so, please hit the subscribe, give us a thumbs up. That'd be massively appreciated by myself and his Royal Shortness. Uh, I'm going to get on and get this off and get this up then. Right, so I'll pop back on. Now, I don't know if you can see. In this part I'm holding here, I've basically stretched a piece in here. See my little finger. See that? So that is not running straight anymore. It's now running bent. There's a little crack in there somewhere, so I'm gonna go off and get this section here replaced. Nothing massively technical, just annoying. Meanwhile, HRS and the Big Boss Man actually getting something done.
Bry. Nice new telehandler. And a mini telehandler. Sat, evidently looking like they're gonna go out. I need to make the rafters higher. We could use one of those rather than turntable. Coming up beers. Oh, bag. Got a heap of parts. At the same time, I'm gonna see the hydraulics of the telehandler at the same time. So we'll see what happens. H, H, <laughs> tell the dog shut up on camera. He's making a noise. Every time the camera comes out, he barks. <laughs> uh, HRS. Not that I couldn't do it. It's just... He couldn't do it. He doesn't know how to use a spanner. Oh, yeah. He's cack-handed. Oh, I'm an event that's extraordinaire. What are you on about? Something. <sighs> Chicken shed that he's done. Yeah. No comment on that. No comment. No. So, we have fitted... Well, we... I, not me... Adam. Well, you went and got. That's, 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 I went and got. Not all me, is it? Yeah, I went and got. But mostly. <laughs> Adam, Adam. So Ads has just fitted the oh, two right. new connection ends or diversion ends because the side pipes come out to do the pins for the headstock. Um, but these two are fast flow. So for some reason, the Agri Pro was fitted with restrictors, which we don't actually know why, do we? No, we don't. Um, <laughs> so. We're not going to get parts, and they said, oh, try these, because they didn't have the exact uh, fitting up there that we required. So these got a bigger hole. So these got a bigger hole, so, so we can have more hydraulic uh, yeah. flow, which means two things can happen. So squeeze the bale, and it'll drop <laughs> <the pot>. Yeah. <laughs> and come yeah. winter, we'll be moaning. <laughs> Exploding bales, or the grab's going to open so fast, it's going to break its, break its own pins. Find out in a minute, will we? <laughs> so, yeah, another little adaption done. You finished raking, I haven't even wrapped the bear yet, but there aren't very many, is there? No, so I don't think you're going to be here very long, mate. No? To be honest. It's going to be more setting, setting up. It's going to take you longer to set up, yeah, yeah. get everything sorted than it is to wrap the bales. And the big boss man wanted another set of bales uh, done as well, which is up the other farm, so I haven't just got to set up once, I've got to set up twice. Yeah. And I've got to drive up there for 12 bales, which is the most aggravating thing in the world, and that's why we like doing full blocks and not half blocks. Now, there might not have been a lot of it, but it's bloody good stuff. Look at the colour of that. And it's dry enough that it'll pretty much retain that colour in the bale whilst it makes. So, well tough for that. When wrapping bales, it's all good until you have to get out. One second, I'm plug you up. Take you with me. HRS is pretty amazing most of the time. But he does tend to leave some of his things around. So this was, we've got a problem on the little mechanism on the mud guard of the T6. So with harvest going on, we just dropped it off. Well, I say we, HRS. So that's off. Um, whilst I'm out the cab, looks like I've left my fast track lights on probably all day one thing does both mine and adam's heads in on the fast tracks is they just love putting their own lights back on so or well, don't put them back on it's just when you park up you've got to make sure you manually turn them off it is probably the number one biggest gripe that we both have with them otherwise they're pretty alright and before we joke and go into tyres that's not JCB's fault that's tyre's fault it also looks like one of the bales is split there see the three little dots where the plastic's wrecked well, there's going to have to go be a patch go on that so I'll do that when I've finished so last night, I ended up on the phone and forgot to basically record any more of the video. So this is the next day. Uh, Ads is in, Charlie's in. Uh, Dad might have been having a chat in the office. It has rained a lot. We've got thunder, which has been overhead for the last hour. 
Uh, there's still rumbles in the distance. You might get a crack in a minute. We've had lightning. It'd be very exciting. Uh, HRS is loading up. He's going northwest. I am going to. Well, oh, I want to get things sorted out here. I want to remember where I left everything. I'm going to run the bane shed, Charlie, and hopefully it's sort of, you can't really tell, it's sort of like very faint spot rain at the moment. Uh, we've had heavy rain. Uh, waiting for this to clear so I can get some hay down. But I wonder what eventualities we have today. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? All right. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah? You enjoying life? Yeah. Ready to sleep with a nice storm for a night. This morning. All right. All right. Are you having any sleep? It's not doing you. It's <laughs> private. What's that going on? So you didn't then? What are you doing here? <laughs> so are you happy? Uh, are you happy we cut yesterday? Or we bailed yesterday? I didn't cut yesterday. I think we didn't cut yesterday. But picked up what we cut. Poor wording from me. The shocking word in me. Alright, alright. But yeah, all done. All not really a lot though, was it? No, it didn't take very long. No. I think 40 big bales and 12 forefoot. Sometimes. Well, though, we're clearing up. We we're are in September clearing up. now, that's what we've got to remember. Just yeah. take what we can. We've got, we've got to get a bit of a shift on the, on the next little dry spell. Yeah, we've just got to cut. So, we might knock everything down if we're feeling brave. Yeah, then. Or stupid. One or the other. Definitely stupid. Definitely stupid. But to be fair, you can do that. And if it doesn't work out, it just goes for cattle anyway, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's got to do something. You know, yeah. You've got to pick up something. Yeah. So, uh, let's see what the rest of the day brings. Right, rain has stopped, thankfully. So I can get up and get hay down. Uh, as millennial farmer usually says, uh, you 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 okay? You you okay? You okay there? He doesn't really okay. So probes are in. This hay being made it's late September. It was deady, but at the same time, it is holding a little bit of heat. It could have done with well, it couldn't have done with any more drying. It is dry enough. It's just it's just maybe the temperatures could have been a little little bit more up. It's got that, what I can only sort of say is that real hay smell, making smell. That makes sense. Where you go in the shed and you're like, oh, yeah, hay's making. Which sometimes when you uh, have that sheer amount of smell, yeah, you can be on the risk of things. So we're keeping an eye on that. Three six foots in the front of the telly and that makes a awful lot of beeping in the cab. But it's good to know she can do it. Other than bathing today, that's pretty much all I've done. Uh, unfortunately, our wood panel here is having better days. So a job that I'm going to finish off on in a minute is strip that top one off. I've already screwed in to steel pipes on this side and one on the other side for a bit of strength because I don't have enough time to completely rebuild the sides of it. But slowly this machine is trying to tear itself to pieces, which isn't the best for the amount of stuff we put through it. So, little bit of, little bit of a bandaging going on to sort of just keep it going and hopefully it lasts a little bit longer. Uh, anyway, enough said by me. If you haven't yet done so, please click subscribe ring bell, give a thumbs up, that'd be wicked. His Royal Highness. I'm here. Is back. I'm there, I'm everywhere. You had a good day? What have I done? <laughs> what have I... Oh yeah, yeah. Been on delivery night. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about what I did then. We do do work here, don't we? I don't know mate, I was just looking for me dog. Oh god. If you want to find any more of us, you can find us on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. And until next time, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.